guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla and today I'm gonna to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial for an everyday look, no makeup makeup, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna be showing you all my favorite products from the drugstore. So if you wanna know what those are, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. First off, I have a clean, fresh face. I just wanna show you guys these awesome products that I've been using. It's called the Mighty Patch from Hero Cosmetics. These two are the ones that I've been loving a lot, the salicylic acid patches and then also the invisible patches. So as you guys can see, my skin has actually gotten a lot clearer and I've been using those during the day when I'm in school because obviously I have a mask on all day at work and school so you can't really see these breakouts so these are super nice to put under your, your mask or whatever or before you do your makeup I use these at night literally they're all gone <laughs> I use them all the salicylic acid in these ones I feel like it really helps um, speed up the healing process so I've been loving these ones these ones are the invisible ones these ones I use more during the day when I'm at school um, or if I'm doing more of a natural makeup, they honestly you can't see them at all um, And I just put them over my pimples as you can see I have a pretty big one right here and here So I'll probably put one of these on and I'll put a video too on the screen of me taking them off this morning Because it was super satisfying. <laughs> I really like them. So definitely go check them out and be launching at Target I think soon These are really thin and they have hydrocolloid. I never know how to say that. All you do is peel it off, a little sticker, and then you put it on your skin. So I am just gonna put it right here. Oh gosh, I need a mirror. I'm gonna put it on my big forehead one and then my chin one because they're really bad and these are nice because they kind of hide them, but you don't have to make it on them, which is awesome. We have a moisturized base. Um, I did all my skincare and everything this morning. So, get on to the rest of the makeup. Go ahead and prime my face with the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. You can find this at the drugstore. It's an awesome primer. I love it so much. It feels so refreshing and gives you such a nice glow, as you can see. Next, I have three foundation favorites from the drugstore, but I don't know which one I'm going to use today. Um, the first one is the... Uh, wet and wild photo focus i like the original instead of the dewy and then i really like the covergirl clean fresh on days that i'm not wanting as much coverage um that's really nice and then also i'm almost done with this one this one has really good coverage has spf and it's really nice so i think i'm gonna go on with this one today it's more of a texture of like a cc cream i feel like but um it covers really well and my skin is breaking out i take like that much and we'll just plop that on our face and you can go over these patches with makeup so that's what i'm gonna do because why not this is such a nice coverage it's very dewy and it gives you enough coverage but it looks natural and it's a little dark for me right now because i feel like i look so pale i haven't been out in the sun at all so but this is such a beautiful finish and I love it. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of a cream contour. I like to do this on <clears throat> even no makeup makeup days because I feel like cream contour looks so natural. Um, I'm just using the Wet n Wild Cream Contour Stick. The color is really close to my natural, I feel like, so I don't go too overboard. I'm going to blend it out with my Juno & Co sponge. Looks so natural and just blends so good. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a second and we're gonna go in with the brow product. So for every day, I really like to just use kind of like a brow gel. I've been really loving this one from Maybelline. It's the Brow Fast Sculpt. Um, and it gives you a little bit of kind of coverage on the brows, but also lifts them up. So I really like this one. I'm just gonna run that through my brows and as you can see, it really lifts them up. Um, and then mine is in the shade Medium Brown. And I feel like this is such an easy everyday for a product to get because it just lifts them up so well and you don't have to worry about like really filling them in. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. As you guys can see, I have loved this stuff. Um, I don't wanna put too much on though because 
I hate when my concealer feels like cakey and I can like feel it on there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the highlights of my face as well. And you guys could definitely skip the foundation step and just do a little bit of cream contouring and highlighting. Um, and then just go in with a powder too and then some powder bronzer and everything. You don't have to do foundation definitely, but sometimes I just like to wear foundation, sometimes I don't. I definitely don't do this every day, but when I do wear makeup, um, I do like to wear foundation. Okay, so that is the skin with no setting yet. It actually looks so good. I love dewy skin, but I definitely do need to set because I do have more combination skin. So we are going to set with a powder. Two of my favorites from the drugstore are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. You guys know I love this stuff. And then also Maybelline Powder in a Medium. I really like this stuff too. I love them both. I really need any extra coverage and the Maybelline one is really good for that. So if you do, definitely use that. But I'm just gonna be using the original translucent from Wet n Wild because I just kinda need to mattify my face a little bit. Whew, forgot how powdery this is. And I do like to go in with a sponge because I feel like it just melts everything in so much better. And I kinda just start with under my eyes and then just pat it on the rest of my face. That is the... Okay, hi, this is future me. Um, I'm just saying these patches look kind of weird when they're on my skin with makeup, so I apologize. Next time, I'm not going to do that, but I do love them for nighttime. Okay, skin okay. all set and everything. Next, we are going to quickly just do the eyes. I've been really liking this Basic Bay palette from Patrice. I feel like it's such a good everyday palette, and I'm just going to take the color Squad, which is the basic peachy kind of color, and just put this on my... Um, lids because I kind of just do like a single color on my lids if I am wearing makeup just like a more bronzy shade and I feel like it makes you look a lot more put together next we're gonna go into the little mascara I love the voluminous lash by um, L'Oreal I do have lash extensions on the top so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the bottom so we are going to bronze up the skin we're gonna use the physicians formula X Whaley collection palette and one of my highlighters fell out, so <laughs> it sucks, but it's fine. So I definitely do like to wear bronzer because I just love the bronze look. You can definitely skip this up if you don't like bronzer and just do blush, but I have to do both. Okay, next we'll just go in with a little bit of blush from the same palette. I'm just going to go in with a more peachy shade. As for our highlight, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Translucent, no, not Translucent, Loose Highlighter. And you guys, this stuff is so pretty. It's so pigmented. You kind of have to be careful. I'm just going to take what's in the cap, the little brush, and dust that on my high points. And this is such a good drugstore highlighter. Look at that. I feel like I need a little bit of eyeliner on, so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild eyeliner and just do a slight line above my lash line because I feel like my lash line just doesn't look as dark. These wings actually were so easy. Okay, let's just finish off this video because I feel like I don't know how I feel about the eyeliner, so let's finish off the lips. So I'm going to go in with my lip combo that I always use from the drugstore. It is the LA Girl in Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. that and then the peanut brittle NYX butter intense okay this is the finished makeup look my skin it looks good and it feels good and it's protected from pimples hopefully these two will fade away I know they look kind of funny but like when I'm from far away can't really tell I think but yes, this is the everyday drugstore makeup tutorial that I would do if I was wearing makeup. Um, these are my favorite OGs from the drugstore, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and check all my links in the description box and follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.